Before I dive into today's video, I just have to say, wow. We just hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel, which has completely blown me away. And I'll have a lot more to say about that in next week's video, which will be a 100,000 subscriber celebration video, an FAQ video, and a Vitamix giveaway. So stay tuned for that. But let's chat about today's recipe. Today we are whipping up my favorite dip of all time, and that's guacamole. Many people have said that my guacamole recipe is the best guacamole that they've ever had, and who am I to disagree? So I'm happy to share that recipe with you today. Now, if you follow me on Instagram stories, you've seen a little bit of the behind the scenes and what I've called hashtag guacwatch, which was a little experiment on how to keep leftover guacamole and avocados green and prevent them from turning brown. And I'm happy to share those kitchen hacks and tips with you today as well. So let's dive in. All right, so my first tip is that when you're buying avocados, make sure that the stem is still attached. Because if someone else has already picked off the stem in the store, it's more likely that that avocado will have brown spots on the inside. So we'll start with three avocados and use a large knife to slice them in half and remove the pit. Then use a large spoon to scoop out the flesh into a bowl. Next, we'll add the juice of one fresh lime and then use a fork to mash it all together with the avocados. And I actually use a serving fork as it's a bit bigger and easier to mash with. Now we'll add a few other ingredients to our mashed avocados and that includes half of a small onion that we'll dice up along with two Roma tomatoes and a jalapeno pepper. When it comes to the Roma tomatoes, you want to remove the seeds so that your guacamole doesn't become watery. And as you'll see, I just use my finger to scrape out the seeds. Lastly, we'll mince up two garlic cloves and add those, along with three to four tablespoons of chopped cilantro and a half a teaspoon of salt. Then all that's left to do is stir it all together and of course, take a test bite or two. But I also promised to show you my favorite avocado hack, which prevents them from going brown, and it's so simple. Just add a little bit of cold water to a storage container or plate and place the avocado cut side down before placing it in the fridge. 24 hours later, your avocado will still be vibrant green. Now here's the cool part. This concept can also be used for guacamole. So if you have leftover guacamole, which I know is unlikely to happen, but just in case, you can place that in a storage container and then pat it down with a spoon so that you've got a nice solid seal on top. Then add enough cold water so that it completely covers the top and place it in the fridge. When you're ready to eat it the next day, just pour the water off and give it a stir for perfectly green guacamole. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. We'll see you again in the next video.